All right, so this is my original uh, 1930s uh, Japanese backpack, and um, this is canvas and fur. As you can see here, all the different details. Now the inside here is a little bit different than World War One, World War Two, 1930s anyway, and. But otherwise, it's pretty much all the same. You can see pretty cool looking stuff there. So what I did was I made myself a full-on uh, Russo-Japanese World War One slash 1930s backpack. Now, the only thing I could not do replicate in size are these funky-looking horn looking buckles so what I did was I just got two two prong buckles but the size lucky for me the width of these here is actually the same as here so I could put these straps onto this original backpack so that's pretty cool this here looks like it was to hold it up like this and of course you know I got my straps and uh, these straps that come out the side which is kind of difficult to see because I don't want to screw with it too much because obviously it's very very old but as you can see you've got um, stitching here to reinforce it and it pops open so that's where these come out um, this is where your main strap comes through you know, I did all that also, just like the original. This one here, of course, is a little bit different. I hopefully made it correctly, World War One style. But all this here, this box frame was actually in this one. So I used it as a... Uh, I used it, sorry about that. I used this as my uh, um, frame because I'm just too lazy to make another one. So here you go. Here you go. This is a little bit different too from the top. So anyway, because uh, I saw some pictures where uh, the Japanese did have these also, and they were supposedly the World War One Russo-Japanese 1905 war. Anyway, this is very funny because the this is my original French backpack, um, 1890s, 1880s. So as you can see, the Japanese kind of are um, uh, <clears throat> I don't know how do you say copied it. Com almost completely almost mm -hmm. yeah look at that almost exactly the same as uh, Japanese uh, the Japanese backpack there. and so that's what the, you know they did the same thing and here's even the funniest part of it all if you look at the top and you look at the top of this one well 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 look at that the same fork type of a um, buckle there. Interesting. These guys don't have holes in them, the Japanese do, but it's all the ones uh, almost exactly the same. It is the, the French one is a little bit bigger. Um, the Japanese one, uh, I believe it came with these on the side uh, leather. I'm not 100% sure, after all, this is pretty damn old. But anyway, it's. Um, and the French one is supposed to have, uh, like this, this here is. There's supposed to be one here. Anyway, I've made a French, a couple of French ones, a black one, or, uh, and uh, and a green one for 1916. Also, I made myself this uh, shovel carrier. This shovel is originally um, one of those eBay ones, but I kind of, you know, as you can see, I kind of chopped it up and make it made it look more uh, World War One era. And then I made this cover from some pictures that I had. The shovel itself is actually bigger than the World War I shovel. But uh, <clears throat> don't tell anybody and uh, nobody will know. Alright? So there you go. My Japanese stuff that I've made.